Hello and welcome to my channel, I Win to Lose Gaming. So, Xtone's video on this topic actually popped up on my feed and I actually think that it's about time that I address this issue as well. So, it's drama time. I usually don't cover drama on my channel and I also don't usually use my webcam. Hey guys, for those of you guys who haven't seen my face, uh, here it is. But I figured since I'm talking about drama, uh, my face will at least help you, uh, I don't know, improve that watch time as it gives you something to look at. Now in the past, I have talked about Genshin Impact drama in particular actually revolving around Chinese New Year's and anniversary. So here we go again. And if you can't tell from my voice, I'm still recovering from hand, foot, mouth, um, which my son got from daycare. And now he's fine, but my wife and I have gotten hit by it. So that's why I sound like this and also look like crap. So yeah. So let's figure out what's going on first before I provide my opinion on all of this. Now, five days ago, this might seem unrelated, but I actually think it ends up playing, contributing more than we would think. But Onkai Star Rail players got a completely free Dr. Ratio. Now, who's Dr. Ratio? He is a five star character. And no, he is not like Aloy, who, let's be real, is a five star in rarity only, not even name, but just rarity. Dr. Ratio is actually a very powerful character, and he is one of the best single target DPS characters in Honkai Star Rail. And obviously, well, everyone got him completely for free. And this is important because Honkai Star Rail also happens to be a game by Hoyoverse, just like Genshin Impact is. What about Genshin Impact? For Genshin Impact, the upcoming version 4.4, which also lines up with the Chinese New Year, um, we're going to be getting the usual free four-star Li Yue character selector with the also usual free 10 pull that we get on Chinese New Year's. Now, let's be honest, this is a bit of Stockholm Syndrome into us being okay with the amount of rewards that we get. But here we also have a timestamp provided by this commenter in Tectone's video. 同时, 我们还将通过游戏内邮件的方式为旅行者们奉上三个纠缠之源 Where Hoyoverse announced three additional intertwined fates being mailed to us. Woohoo! <laughs> so at the rate we're going, we'll get five additional intertwined fates when we hit Celestia for one additional intertwined fate per year. The main issue with this is that obviously this message comes off as own deaf. This would be like, thank you for being a loyal customer to our establishment for the past three years. And for your loyalty, here is a coupon for 2.8% off your next purchase. And yes, I was actually very deliberate with that 2.8% number because it takes an average of, I think, 105-ish pulls to get a five-star character. So that would equate to a 2.8% off discount. Now, let's be real here. If they hadn't even mentioned these three additional polls for, you know, being with them for a year or three entire years, um, we would have been just, they would have just been much better off. It's likely that the Genshin player base would just been like, okay, another um, Chinese New Year, another batch of the same rewards that we always get every single Chinese New Year's, which is just the 10 polls and sometimes a free four-star character that we get a selector for. But due to the tone deaf nature of the 2.8 off percent coupon, along with the other issues like, for example, the Genshin community's general unrest with the fact that the Honkai Star Rail community got the free doctor ratio, again, a top tier five star meta character. So what has this resulted in? This has resulted in CN players being very upset. So what have CN players been doing? Well, they have been mass unfollowing Genshin Impact's Douyin account, which is their, which is Chinese TikTok. And they've also been review bombing Genshin Impact on Billy Billy with one star reviews. Now, this actually reminds me of the whole Zhongli fiasco where Zhongli was released in a admittingly middling state and Hoyoverse actually did take it quite seriously and I think it got to such a boiling point in the scene community where Hoyoverse actually buffed only like they adjusted his kit and made him stronger which has been the only time that Hoyoverse has directly tampered 
the character's kit and not including like bug fixes and stuff, but just literally went in and changed numbers and stuff for him to actually buff the character. So this could result in something similar where the CN community has reached such a boiling point and all this backlash might lead to some actual change. But according to Sports Skeeta, in response to all this drama, the developer has reportedly issued an apology and has promised to work on improving the communication. They've also announced that they will readjust the rewards and provide additional compensation. Now, I do find the part where they specifically mentioned improving the communication to be interesting because I think they realized the tone deaf nature of it and how they would have been better off had they just literally not even mentioned the three intertwined fates. That's probably what they mean by improving the communication, but we'll have to see. We're going to have to see what the additional compensation is. And on top of all this, it appears that many CM players are also unfollowing companies that have been collaborating with Genshin Impact, for example, like KFC, Pizza Hut, and Hey T. And guys, you guys should leave Hey T out of this. You know, KFC and Pizza Hut, I understand. And it's American stuff, but Hey T? Now, can we really do that to blow blow? <laughs> Okay, so now let's be serious. So I'm going to talk about my opinion on this, what I think should happen, as well as just some thoughts about this drama that's been going on. Unfortunately, Genshin Impact has just reached this boiling point, especially with the CN community. Now, from the EN side of things, let's be real, I don't really think our voice matters too much when it comes to, you know, how we really feel and our protests and stuff like this. I mean, I think we've gotten a few things done. Actually, I can't really name anything notable, but if some of you guys might know something we managed to achieve, do let us know down in the comments below. Now let's talk about my opinion. Now I stated this years ago with the first Chinese New Year's anniversary. I thought that they should have given us a free five-star selector ticket from the standard banner. And nowadays, you know, the standard banner characters are getting a bit rusty, although we do have Dea to now choose from as a new character. But, you know, I don't know how people feel about that. That was just one idea because a lot of games do provide, you know, some type of selector tickets or just some kind of bone they throw to the player base that's a bit more than the usual. Like, oh, here's a few free 10 pulls. Not even enough 10 pulls to guarantee something that you want. Or even like an infinite reroll banner where you can just keep rerolling and you always get a five star from the standard banner and then you just select one. You know, gotcha games do this type of stuff all the time. So I was pretty disappointed, even though I'm a whale, I just buy everything that I want in this game and everything to me is just a transaction, right? It doesn't affect my gameplay experience, but I do want to see, you know, Genshin Impact just be a little bit more generous to its, you know, long time player base. I mean, we have been here for three years now and getting one intertwined fate per year is extremely tone deaf and it's it's the reason why it's reached the point that it has in the end so in my opinion this is also great that cn has kind of reached this boiling point because we might actually see some change now hopefully this doesn't result in anything too crazy going on like previously hoyoverse experienced some death threats and things like that just insane just just don't do that stuff please please just provide constructive feedback criticism you can boycott by not playing you can unfollow you can downvote things you can make you can ratio whatever right like all this stuff is fine that's how that's how you utilize your powers as a consumer as always there's you know always some crazy people that will just go beyond the pale and, and do some ridiculous stuff now what about me am i going to change anything i'm not going to be changing my behavior in any way because i'm a content creator for genshin impact you guys come to me to see guides on characters. There could be drama, there could be issues with Hoyoverse, there could be whatever things going on. But because you watch my content for consistent, reliable guides on characters, I'm still gonna obviously provide those to you. This would kind of be like, I don't know, like Chick-fil-A not liking the way one of their farms treated their chickens and just not serving you chicken sandwiches anymore out of boycotting the chicken. Um, you know, I, I still gotta provide you guys the product that I provide you guys on my YouTube channel, which is Genshin Impact Guides. So yeah, hopefully this gives you guys some insight. Now, what are my expectations for what Hoyoverse could do? Honestly, the worst thing that they could possibly do is issue another tone deaf like compensation. Like, oh, three poles wasn't enough? Well, let's double that to make it six poles. I think for them to actually address this, they need to do something a little bit more creative. Perhaps the bare, bare minimum would be like, I don't know, like a f another four star selector ticket from all the four stars. I think that would be like the bare minimum personally. 
for it to not come off as tone deaf. But even then, you know, when you compare it to Honkai Star Rail's free five star character, it's pretty difficult to kind of come to terms with that. So yeah, let's hope that Hoyoverse doesn't come out with another equally tone deaf compensation for this and instead them to actually provide something meaningful and useful for us as players in Genshin Impact. Because ultimately, you know, me as a Genshin Impact content creator, I do want to see this game be even more successful than it already is. I want to see you guys be able to enjoy the game even more than you already do and that means providing a better experience for the game from Hoyoverse directly via free stuff. If you guys have any ideas for how we can kind of provide cumulative and constructive feedback and criticism to Hoyoverse about the anniversary rewards, do let us know down in the comments below. Of course, thank you Tectone for bringing up the drama, a very reliable source of drama in pretty much uh, the gacha gaming community we have from him. As always, I appreciate every single one of you. This is I Went to Lose. Signing out.